growing deep roots in Christ and branching out in holy love. Welcome again to PlantMedina.org. I'm Ryan, and today I'd like to share with you some thoughts on discipleship and try to keep it very simple. Um, there used to be this saying uh, in first century Judaism that went something along the lines of, may you be covered in the dust of your rabbi meaning that you would always be following your rabbi, you'd be learning, you'd be not just sitting in a classroom, but you'd be learning life with them as they lived it. You'd be following their example. And I think that's, that's how Christian discipleship should be. I mean, you look at um, the people that Jesus called to him, just riffraff, regular, common, everyday people like me and you, Jesus calls to himself and calls to follow him. And, you know, he has 70, he has thousands of times to follow him. He has, um, you know, he has 12 the apostles. And then he has his, like, even closer few people that uh, he really bonds with and is even more intimate with and shares more with. So at Plant Medina, I just want to rethink discipleship. I want to rethink it not as, you know, just this sh strict road, you know, like behind me. Uh, you know, with all these cars just zooming here and zooming there. I don't, it's not about a program. It's not about a curriculum. Discipleship's about a relationship. It's about following someone else as they follow Jesus. Um, I don't know about you, but I was a mess. I'm still a mess, but not, you know, that's, that's working itself out. Uh, but I was a mess when I first came to know Jesus. And I didn't need someone just to tell me, read the Bible, you, you said the sinner's prayer, you're good. I needed somebody to walk with me and show me what it means to be, in my case, a Christian man and how to walk as a Christian man, how to talk and treat women like, like a man in Christ. And that has been so beneficial. So to me, discipleship is a lot like going on a good hike with a friend. You don't just say, hey, do you want to go on this hike? And then the person says yes, and you say, okay, I'll meet you here at this location and then you ditch them. Uh, nor do you invite somebody out to go on a hike with you and you don't tell them to bring the proper gear. Nor do you invite somebody to go on a hike and when they show up you give them a map, you give them maybe a compass and you say okay have at it, uh, go, go navigate and hike on your own. No, when, when you go hiking with somebody and you invite them on a hike you tell them what to bring, you tell them the equipment they'll need, you give them a little taste of what to expect, and then you go walk with them, you hike with them, you show them how to navigate dangerous terrain. It doesn't mean that you're always going to be their hiking partner the rest of their lives, but it means that, that you've walked with them enough that they can start walking for themselves and also start hiking with others. So that's, that's a beautiful picture to me of how um, biblical discipleship looks like. It means inviting the inviting people not just into this one momentary um, cognitive ascent to who Jesus is, but it's inviting people on this journey with you and investing in them and walking with them. It, 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 you know, it doesn't mean just cramming knowledge down th their throats about who Jesus is or who you say Jesus is. It's about showing who Jesus is. It's about telling them who Jesus is with your lives, how you live your life, and walking with them, giving grace uh, when they fall on their face because... I mean, if people didn't give me grace when I when I was an early believer, I would have never got up. So um, those are some thoughts on discipleship um, from from my view. Um, thanks for checking us out and uh, stay in touch. Stay connected on Twitter, on Facebook, and join the conversation at platmedina.org. Growing deep roots in Christ and branching out in holy love.